It really is a fucking awesome invention. Better than the car. We are That's starting the podcast. That is not better than the fucking car. Same level, though, isn't it? Holy fuck, man. I still... Put my pole go down, Ricky. You're going to have to get that fucking thing out of here, bubs. I'm not getting it out of here. That's what I used to get here every day. All right, can we start this? What are we dealing with today? What are these fucking things? All right, we've got to tell everybody what's going on. Hey, this is the Trailer Park Boys official podcast coming at you. Which it's... number? Oh, fuck. 34, 5, 33. 30 what? I have five. <laughs> you got one job, and that's to just know what fucking number we're on. It's 34, fuckhead. Yeah, because somebody just... Well, I still fucking said it was 34. All right, let's just get this started. Okay, well, go ahead. All right, Mr. <sighs> Mr. Take Church. Oh, yeah, this is brought to you by Tukasa. What the... Uh... It's uh, March the 25th. What? That's what day it is today, March the 25th. You don't have to say the 25th. What do you mean? It's March the 25th. Have right. you always been saying it like that, Ricky? It's March the 25th? Well, that's how it looks on paper. <sighs> you know, who gives a fuck? But there's some famous shit that happened today. It's uh, Sarah Jessica Parker's birthday. You had a crush on her, Julian? Yeah, way back, man. Like, you know, the early seasons of that show she was on. She was, you know. Sluts in the City or whatever the fuck it was. Sex in the City. Sex in the City. Elton John, you like him, Bubs? I do enjoy Wish him a happy birthday. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. <laughs> it's nice, pups. Don't be fucking hit me like that, man. You don't spilt my drink on my. Well, Aretha Franklin. Get some fucking elbow room, then. Aretha Franklin, you like her, bubs? I do love her. Wish her a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Aretha. <laughs> First fucking colored television was made today, Bobby boys. Not ESPCT. Holy fuck, man. Most bloom. Jesus Christ. Bubs, did you smoke what he had back there? Yes. What was you, it, man? What I can I can it? barely function right now. You must be completely fucked. Was I just fucked. singing Aretha yes, Franklin? Yes. I yeah. can't sing Aretha Franklin. She's You're all fucking jacked up, man. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> that stuff that? is really kicking in now, isn't it? What yes. Wow. It's called Crystal Ball or Bomb. <laughs> Sorry. It should be called Crystal. Crystal creep. Bomb. It's creeping up on me, man. Okay, now I have prepared. <laughs> God. Wait a second. Would you okay, stop go fucking ahead. Ricky? Let's see what, you got. what? We can't smoke dope like you. And when you roll <laughs> shit up, tell us if it's creepy. Don't put the fucking flashlight in my face, man. Shut the fuck up <laughs> and smoke the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's, you can't function, man. Like, how do you spend all day and all night? Good thing you got your sunglasses way? on. Hey, bud. Yeah, because I'm fucked. Because this would be really bright otherwise. I wear my Is that bright, Bubs? All day. Is that bright? Jesus, Recky. I didn't even notice it was there until it was too late. It's one of these new fucking kinds of lights that you can uh, plug her into your hoocher in your car. What? Your hoocher? Hoocher. <laughs> <laughs> Recky, do you mean you, you barred that light in your arse? That's what you used to call your hoocher. I don't know. There's a little the hole in the car. But remember when you used to eat hot sauce, you used to come out and say, my hoocher's burning. <laughs> so now when I hear hoocher and you say, plug that into your hoocher. Here, smell I, it. Smell it, Bob. You smell know, the I end use of that my thing. matlock skills to deduce. That was in his ass. But right, For that sure. Well, it was good. in his hoocher. That would not be good. It's Whatever his hoocher is being defined as. But this runs off these, or you Batteries. can plug it into your hoocher. Or, or the, not or, but this is also a maglet. So you could fucking watch this. Oh, well, well, it's not a very strong maglet, but. Maglet. Where did you get this anyway, Ricky? I found it. Where? You found it. Backseat of a cab I was in the other day. Was the cab moving? Yep, finders keepers though, right? Were you driving the cab? Got a first aid kit, too. 
Okay. Bracky. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? So funny, pups. God damn it, Ricky! Why do you do this to us? Okay, man? we won't, I can't function this way. No more crystal bomb. We'll just drink some liquor and maybe it'll mellow it out. Ricky, you stole the flashlight, the first aid kit out of the <laughs> cab you were in. Well, the cab guy could have owned it, or another p possibility was that pups. some shoppers left Time it over. there. And if You're fucked. I didn't take it, someone else would have taken it. Good it God. Tucking it. it. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It is right now. Tucking it. Okay, I prepared some things today. Awesome. That I would like to speak about. <coughs> wow. But the problem is, I wrote them down after I smoked that stuff, and I don't know what they mean. I wrote down Zorro the Fuck Shark. Zorro the fuck shark. Zorro the fuck shark? I don't know why I wrote that. Zorro the fuck shark. That sounds like my notes. No. Oh, I know what it was. There was a shark. There's a shark over in Europe somewhere. And they and wanted Zorro. To, his name was Zorro. And what? they, you know, they were wanting him, you know, to do it at the zoo. And he wasn't doing it because they want, you know, to have baby sharks at the zoo. About so the they pool. started playing... They started playing music underwater, Barry White. Yeah. And Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. You know. All right. Shark started banging. I thought you meant like a pool shark, not a fucking real shark. No, he was a he was a real shark, Zorro the fuck shark. I wrote that down so I remember the story. <laughs> well, I did. It's a good one. Can you imagine that once they played the music underwater, he started banging? How do sharks bang? Do they pump it out or do they pump it out? Does it just uh, lay on top of it and it does its own homework? Or I say it swims <laughs> up beside it and then just kind of does a little twist <laughs> and just jams it in. <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> oh, fuck! Fuck, Ricky. Got us all cranked up here. <laughs> So, <laughs> tell me this again. How do you think <laughs> sharks do it? That's it. Okay. Yeah. And we're back. It would be weird, though, to see a, you know, a shark on top of the other shark and just <laughs> pumping or whatever, you know what I mean? I don't think sharks do that. I think they... I don't know what they do, actually. That's what they do, man. I think doesn't the shark just he I think he just sticks his bird into the sand and just leaves it there. What? I think, and then the other shark, she comes up and wiggles onto it or something. I believe I read that. At some right. point in my So life. he just dives in with his boner yeah. into the sand, drops off some load, it just stays there. Yeah, and then and the then other sharks can sense it or whatever they sense with, their, it. with their load sensors. And then just backs up onto it. Like a, you know, that like... Is, no, man, that can't be... I free. think it's like a delivery truck system. It's fucking lame sex. Well, depends. You should try it. The same as taking a piss, really, You're pissing in the sand. You get nothing out of it. Oh, here's a here's one, Ricky, that will interest you. There's a guy in Maine... Yep. ...selling, trying to sell ad space on his neck. What does that mean? Well, a company would pay him to put their... Advertisement on the back of his neck. Like a tattoo. Like a tattoo, yeah. That's a good idea. We should talk to Jacasa. Jacasa. I think the guy's a fucking idiot. Why? Well, depending on who fucking pays for it, but at least does he have restrictions? Like, I don't know, Ricky. What what do you mean? What the fuck are you talking about? I suppose like some company like eatadick.com is like, <laughs> hey bud, here's ten grand. Yeah, no, I don't think he's got any restrictions, I think. Put whatever you want on there, man. Build a bear, eat a dick. But they need to have <laughs> eatadick.com in the back of your neck. Well, there's actually That's... a woman. There's a woman that sold her forehead for 10 grand. And 10 grand? 10 grand, and she got a, a website of an online gaming company tattooed on her forehead. For 10 grand? Yeah. You, you know what? You can do a lot with 10 grand, but I don't think it's worth 
can you have your fucking forward. forehead removed and that's replaced for ten grand? Probably not. Like what? That's an idea that she may fucking regret. Regret. Well, I guess she could, like, get it taken off or something. Can you laser surgery Ricky, or something? Why did, did you think you could get your forehead changed out? You can change anything for the right amount of money. What? <laughs> like any part of your body? I bet you could. Except your head. You couldn't do your whole head. <laughs> but no. you can do other things. Uh, Tattoos can get removed. It just costs money. Yeah, but you're talking like body parts, man. Like how did you get from that to body parts? I heard of people cutting their finger off and putting it back on. It worked. Well, yeah, if you get it quick enough, man, throw it in some fucking ice or something. But that doesn't mean you can replace it. Like, you're not going to snip your finger off and I snip mine off and we swap them. Guy at school fucking cut his whole hand off the uh, table saw and the fucking guy glued it on. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Ricky? No, man. That that wouldn't do the trick. It didn't work very good, but it was still back on there. Did it turn black and, like, kind of chip off? It never looked the same as the rest of his arm. Ricky. But he could he could kind of almost carry stuff in it. <laughs> so he had no use of his hands. Just, just like just glued this. it onto his arm. But he could carry some stuff if he got the right angle on her. <laughs> you know, holy <laughs> fuck, boys. This stuff comes in waves, huh? This crystal bomb. Wow. <sighs> Crystal bomb, <clears throat> it's called? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Cheers to you, creator of Crystal Bomb. Oh, listen to this one, boys. Don't make it a funny one. I can't take it. Well, it's pretty funny. There was a there's a big Ferris wheel in Did Belgium. We? Yeah. And there was a family on it. Noop de doo, and they're there, you know. Having a nice vacation on the big Ferris wheel. Yeah. And you know, as you know, you go up, you can see sort of the cart down below you. They look down, oh, what's going on down there? Shooting a fucking porno. What? Where? People were shooting a porno in one of the things on the Ferris wheel. On the Ferris wheel? Yeah. That's awesome. And there was a family on vacation, and they looked down with their kids, and there's a lady getting humped. <laughs> well, it'd be fucking weird, but it's probably the best thing could have in the family, because that's an awkward thing to have to talk about. You're always wondering, like, when do you fucking talk about that stuff to your kids, and... If it's happening right in front of them, then you're like, okay, I guess this is the time to explain shit. And then it's just all out on the table. Makes you a better So parent. the birds and the bees is best explained on a Ferris wheel watching... Watching a live performer get being shot. Oh, because kids be like, what, what the fuck are those people doing? And you're like, well, I guess it's time. I mean, okay, as long as Okay, so it's... pretend I'm a little kid, Rick. Yeah, how would you explain it to me? How old you are like you? like a play-by-play? I'm... I'm five years old. <laughs> well, that's young. I don't know if... Okay, I'm... I'm ten. I'd probably just say, well, that guy's using his gas hose to... to refuel... Fuck! <laughs> 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 Yeah, Ricky. I don't think I can do this. Yes, you can, Ricky. So what would happen if like, the chick started going down on the guy? What would the play-by-play -play be for that, son? <laughs> uh, say it again. <laughs> There's a chick going down on the dude, yeah. and your son's like, Dad, what, well, what's no, going he, on there? Daddy, well, then how come his gas always is in her mouth now? <laughs> exactly. Then what do you say, Ricky? He must have either gotten stung by a bee <laughs> or a bit by a tarantula <laughs> sucking the poison out. <laughs> that is so fucked. Man, I've never ever spoken anything you have again, Ricky. <laughs> it's fucked. It's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so you would tell the little guy that the that his gas hose got bit by a tarantula. <laughs> She's sucking the poison out. <coughs> Five year olds are dumb. They fucking believe anything, right? <laughs> now, once the kid gets older, I'd say, remember that fucking time, guy's cock got bit by a snake or spider leg thing, and the mother was sucking the poison out. I wasn't really what was happening. What was happening? 
They were having oral sex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oral sex. Okay, then. Awesome. That is fucking <clears throat> amazing. Wow. <laughs> okay, and we're back. Oh, here's a good one, Ricky, that I thought you would enjoy. I need your tissue shirt. Ricky! <laughs> Thanks, Bubs. God. See, it smells better now. You put two weddies on me. Those are tears of happiness. Looks like... Actually, those are, those are drug tears, I'm not going to lie. Those tears were made with drugs. That's very nice, Rick. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Here's a good one, else? Ricky. There's a guy in, guy in Moscow. He stole a car, but he stole it from a repair shop. Guess what the car was in for? What? Getting fitted for brakes. <laughs> That's not a true story. True story. Fucking car had no brakes. Buddy backed her out, tried to get away. Right through a fucking red light. Killed a hundred people. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Didn't kill a hundred people. If you no, did, you... I just made that part up. I was going to say, you shouldn't laugh right. about that. Yeah, man. That's... Made that part. Well, that's why I laughed, because I clearly made it up. I wasn't laughing, because I thought a hundred people got killed. Stop trying to make me look bad. I'm not trying to make you look bad, man. Should we smoke another one, try to come down a bit? Are you fucking kidding me? Not a chance, man. Okay. Holy fuck. Well, yeah, this is a interesting story I read, too. There's a dog. Yep. Stupid-ass dog. Fuck, I hate dogs. Mm-hmm. Just saying. I don't mind dogs, man. And he it's lived cool. on a ground-floor apartment, and he always would just jump out the window, you know, to get out onto the street, do his poop or whatever he was doing. Yep. And then the guy that owned him moved to a new apartment on the sixth floor. Forgot how dumb fucking dogs are. Left the window open. doop de doop Woo! Out the window. Oh, <laughs> Six stories up. That sucks. Way to go, arsehole. Yeah, now your dog's dead. Well, he didn't die, actually. He hit a balcony below, and he was okay. But I'm just telling the story to prove to you how fucking dumb they are. Well, maybe. You think that would happen if that was a kitty? Not a fucking chance would a kitty leap so out maybe, a fucking okay, window. He was all right. He lived, okay? So do you, maybe he, like... Poked his little head over the fucking balcony. He was like, hey, I'm going to jump off here and land on the fucking third balcony. No, he, um, I mean, he was mangled. He could have been practicing well, for the circus. Exactly. Well, not really. Who, who could have been? The dog. Wanted to be a circus dog. Hmm? So now that I'm high up, I can fucking show off my shit. And okay, I don't, fucking I, jump down three stories, hit that balcony, do a little rotation, and then land on the ground perfectly. I don't, I don't think dogs have the choice you know, I think to, if they want to go and be in the circus or not. I think right? the more logical answer is the fucking dog is dumb and he jumped out the goddamn window thinking the ground was going to be right there and it wasn't. I bet he won't do it again then, which makes him not totally dumb. But you know, I think dogs are smarter than fucking cats, man, anyway. Well, I just proved that they're not. Do you well, think a okay. kitty would do that? Would you see a kitty would jump hole. up on the window ledge and go, oh, fuck, look at that. We must have moved. Must little Sobo would not moved. do that. Yeah, okay? I don't recognize any of these buildings. Corey, moved. Corey would probably do it. He'd be that dumb. What about fuck Collie? That Collie dude. What is uh, that dog, man? Lassie? Lassie. Collie? <laughs> he was a Collie. You think Lassie's real? No, I just, he was a smart dog, obviously, man. Well, they use camera tricks, obviously. So is Lewis Hobolo. Hobo. That's all camera tricks. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Littlest. I think he was pretty cool, but he's not a representation of what dogs are like. And I mean, some of the... You, I mean, Ricky, you know the stuff on Littlest wasn't real, right? Like when he jumped out of the fucking airplane with the parachute on. That was real. I saw it. It wasn't real. That. You they watched... fake that? Yes. How? Because they shot him against the sky, Ricky. He was just hanging in a fucking thing in a swing. And they point the camera up, and it makes it look like he's coming down. And then they cut to a, you know, a different shot of just a fake dog coming down in a parachute. No, it was real, man. You could tell by the look on his face. He looked scared. Well, he probably was scared, Ricky, but he's in a fucking studio with lights and cameras, and he's hanging in a harness. They wouldn't be allowed to do that, though. Back in the fucking 70s, you were. 80s. 1980s. Bad time to be a dog in the 1980s. 
Anyway, that would not have happened if that was a kitty. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. Well, kitty would have even, as soon as you moved into the new place, kitty's like, this is not not my place. And then he goes exploring, and he finds everything he needs, and then he jumps up on the window ledge and goes, oh, I better be careful there. We're up six stories now. That's what kitties think like. Dogs are just like, oh, there's the window. Out I go. Holy fuck! Well, there's not many fucking movies made with cats stirring it or TV shows. And he was smart enough to catch the balcony on the way down. Exactly. So he could have been like, holy fuck, just half drunk. And then he's like, as he's going down, his brain's working so fast because it's so smart that he's like... I don't know, man. Okay, fucking moving on then. How about the fucking jail down in Virginia? You can't get pictures there anymore because the fucking drugs were getting soaked into the pictures and the inmates were eating the pictures, getting fucking high. Pretty smart. That's it. I'm going to try that next time I go to jail. Send me lots of pictures, bubs. You got to soak them in this drug called... LSD. Sub Ox One. Sub Ox One. Never heard of it. I hope that's not what we're on right now. Sub Ox Zone? I don't know. Don't get thinking about that. You know, actually, that that we could end up making some some serious cash. Well, I was thinking you could also soak them in fucking LSD. I don't, know, I don't know if you'd want to be on that too much. I oh, did a couple times. People in jail, jail, man. They'd freak out over that shit. Probably get it's LSD in one tab. I'd say 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We mm. could go to jail. Easily. Boy, what are you Bubs, talking about? You could just send us pictures. You're going to start selling acid at jail? Well, Good if idea. it happens, 50 bucks why not? Is a lot. It'd be easy to do, really. I can't, like, we're sitting here having a nice time, talking about funny things. Now there's a fucking plan to sell acid at the jail. All right, fuck that. We'll talk about something else. Don't be selling acid. I'm not going to sell acid. God. Don't even have acid around, just in case something happens. You want to talk about a four-clawed lobster? Depends on what he he does. What does he do for a living? Little bitch's name is Claudette, and she's got four claws, I guess. Portland, Maine. Three claws in one arm, one on the other, which is super fucked. Why is that any more fucked than having two on each? Because then it's just like, maybe it had a twin that didn't get fully whatever. I mean, it still could be a twin. It could have been laying like this. I don't know. It is a weird one, though, isn't it? It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. I mean, the only weird thing could be if she had four on one. That'd be pretty That would weird. be pretty, really fucked. <clears throat> be quite an advantage, though, wouldn't it? I mean, if you had two extra arms. What would you do, Ricky? Holy fuck. If you had two extra arms, what would be the first thing you'd do? Probably masturbate while I was eating. What? What, what did I miss? I asked song. him if he had two extra arms. Yeah. What's the first thing he'd do? And he said he'd probably masturbate while he's eating. Two hands working the unit. Two hands on the unit. And two two hands, hands cutting a steak. Well, Ricky, why don't you just use one hand for the unit and one hand eating the steak? Well, what if you want to do a little ball work? <laughs> okay. All right. I think we got another wave coming in here, fellas. <laughs> yes. So the first thing you'd do if you had four arms, the first thing you'd do is jack off and eat a steak at the same time. It was the first thing that popped in my head. I would you sit down, it. like, at the dinner table and, you know, just have the hands under there going at it, or would you be standing up? <sighs> I didn't think that far ahead. Yeah, that's a tough one. No, probably sitting down comfy. <laughs> That is a fucked up answer. What would man. you guys do if you had an extra set of I arms? wouldn't be jacking off eating a steak <laughs> dinner, man. Okay. I don't know. I don't, even, I don't fucking know. I don't know what I would do if I had four arms. You? Go right to NASA. And what? what? See, I'm a fucking... Head right to NASA. I'm going to say, excuse me. Don't know if you noticed. I got four arms. I can fly a fucking space shuttle better than anybody. Put me up. Because I can do twice the work, twice the button work. And masturbate at the same time. 
reckon if I was in the space shuttle... Are you allowed to masturbate in space? Commander of the space shuttle, I would not be jacking with my extra arm. Has there ever been sexual stuff in space? Do we know that? Oh, there's there had to have yes, been, man. For science. Astronauts teeing off on each other? Or oh, big time. Someone must touch themselves at some point, no? Well, they got to they, they gotta do, you know, tests and shit. They, gotta, they, 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 they do probably do science, Ricky. Right. Because you wouldn't want a lot of that stuff floating around. <laughs> no. No, you wouldn't. They'd have, like, a jack bag or something. <laughs> Vacuum. <laughs> Be a jackback, probably. Yeah. Like the trackers use. It's probably the same thing they piss in. That's a like, <laughs> right at the, the window. <laughs> so there's probably, yeah. There's yeah. probably space loads. This stuff just won't it. quit. Tons. What? <sighs> this stuff won't quit. Now I feel like I gotta go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, oh boy. Dude, this other chick almost cut off her dude's nuts and nut sack because he didn't bring her flowers on National Women's Day. So she cut his nuts off. Suck. Go home with no flowers, you fuck up and forget what day it is and fucking wife takes a kitchen knife and <clears throat> tries to slice your nuts and sack off. He had to have emergency surgery, but his nuts in the sack are okay, I guess. Thank Did they break up? Him. What would you do? I'd break up. Because you're fucking stupid. You wouldn't know what day it is. You wouldn't fucking bring flowers home. So what happened? All of a sudden, you got a knife slicing at your balls and nuts. Balls and nuts? Balls and uh, nut sack, I guess. Or See, nuts you know, and ball sack. To me, there's got to be some fucking bag. warning signs. Like, <laughs> well before the, she got into cutting his bag off. Like, this guy must have had, like... I'm Lots just curious now, when you said balls and nuts, Ricky, you know they're the same thing, right? Or do you call balls one thing and nuts something else? My dad said it's because some people's nuts are shaped like balls and some people's balls are shaped like nuts. So it's two different terms for the same thing. Fuck. What you're saying right could now you repeat that? Me. Repeat that, could you, Ricky? <laughs> what? He said what? Some, some balls are shaped like balls and some are shaped like nuts. Two different words for the same fucking thing. Your testes. No, you said some people's balls are shaped like nuts and some people's <laughs> nuts are shaped like balls. <laughs> oh, I fucked up, I guess, but you know what I meant. No, I'm just fascinated how your brain goes. I'm fascinated with shit like this. What is it? For the people that can't see this, that are only listening... Ricky is holding up a bottle with a wooden ship inside. No, but how do they do that? There's only f three or four different ways it could be done. Okay, Ricky, how, yeah, oh, this is going to be awesome. How did they get that little ship inside the bottle, do you think? You either built the ship and then made the bottle around it. Okay, but you're talking about blowing a glass bottle with molten glass. Maybe that's what this stuff is. It's like a heat protection. The blue. Yeah, but Ricky, you'd still have to blow the glass around it and around. it would put the ship on fire. Okay, so maybe that's not the way. Maybe it, this is used to be, the blue stuff used to be soil. They planted a boat seed, watered it, and it grew. But boat seed? That probably wouldn't make sense because it would just keep growing bigger and get too big for the bottle. <laughs> so the only other way I could think of would be it's not real. It's like a weird painting that you're looking at it, but it's in there, you know what I mean? That's mirror, <laughs> mirror Ricky, tricks. It's not a painting, man. No, it's That's a three-dimensional boat. boat, Ricky. Okay, well, we'll just leave that a mystery. He's stumped. You know how they do it, Ricky? You want me to tell you? I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> tell him. No, he doesn't want to learn right. anything. Hello, man. No, no, okay. I do want to know them. If you're going to talk it like that. They take, they've got tools, Ricky, <clears throat> long, skinny tools. Yep. And they put, they grab a piece of the boat, mm -hmm. they put it in the bottle, and they set it there, and then they take the next piece, put, Shut. Some, put some glue on it, stuff her in with the long tool, Shut and up. they build it inside there. No, they fucking well, don't. They could fit the, the main part of the boat, would go through the. Well, open, that's what I mean, it? but then they put all then the they pieces. They put the sails and they fucking pop them up. No. Yeah, man. Not a chance. 
That's how they do it, Ricky. There's no fucking way this was built in the bottle. Yeah. I could see if they had a tiny enough guy to get in there and build it. He could just jump in. No. It's not, there's... I don't mean there's less guys out there building it, Ricky. What about a smart, trained hamster? Or something that could fit through the opening and use his little, tiny little claws to... What, do you have a well, little tool would... belt on? What, do you have a little tiny hammer? Little tiny nails? <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking tough one. That's that's how you think it's done? Well, I actually know, Ricky, because I built the fucking thing. I built that, boys. Well, you didn't build that. And I put the cork in her. Yeah, I did. You I see the built, fucking thing. I built that. I don't fucking believe you. No, don't. It sits like that. Well, I think I'm, uh... I need to go have a fucking nap. Yeah, I'm starting to come uh, down and really get in the tired. Okay, Rick. It was like we were on a roller coaster, kind of from hell, because... I'm not good at that stuff, Rick. Oh, yeah, that stuff was strong, dick. Ricky. Maybe this thing will wake me up. Is it dangerous, Bubs? Well, it is if you're on this fucking weed, Ricky. If you're what? If you're on this weed. Yeah, give her a try, man. <laughs> this, could, this could be a bad idea. It's hard to... <laughs> All right. Leave the fucking thing down there, Ricky. Okay, Ricky, you had enough. Christ, Rick. Ricky. Are you good? Let's just sign done? off before he kills somebody. We'll see you next week. All right, that's it. See ya. That thing's fucking dangerous. You're fucking, you're an idiot.